guess what? I'm getting a puppy. <laughs> okay, unfortunately, this is not my first puppy, but I'm now, I guess, a little older and definitely a lot wiser and know what to expect when getting a puppy. Um, we got our first one from the Pound or from the Humane Society. She has an amazing home, a lot of land. She's living it up and enjoying life um, with some other puppy brothers and sisters um, out on a farm in Indiana. Now, my husband and I know what to expect. I'm home now um, running my businesses and I have the time and energy to put into training a puppy and training my little fur baby into the family. So I wanted to do a quick puppy haul on the things that I have purchased. Um, super excited to show you. I've been waiting to get everything in from, um, I was going to say Arbonne, huh, not Arbonne, but from TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Amazon, of course, because they have everything, right? So I just wanted to start off, um, I'll share the food. So I know, please don't come at me about the food. Um, the breeder um, has him currently on Royal Canine. We'll keep him on that for a little while um, until he gets all his shots per her suggestion and then transition him over to this Merrick, um, a healthy recipe food that is like grain free and um it has real chicken glucosamine and no peas lentils or potatoes no animal byproducts or preservatives or blends or anything it has omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids for a healthy um, coat and all of that so i actually got these locally i'm all about shopping local at a local pet store buy one get one free so i couldn't pass it up so yes i got that all right, I also purchased this gate per the suggestion of the breeder. Um, it is a 24 inch like rectangle basically. It's called the iris, kind of little playpen so that I can use that as needed. Probably just gonna block off certain areas like in my living room for now and train until I get him totally trained and then he'll be free to roam. All right, I also purchased these washable puppy pads um, that will go under the area if he's ever confined to that one space just to help with not ruining our nice plush carpet until we um, get the whole house hardwood as you can see back there um, like in the kitchen like for your area all of that is hardwood but we have carpet through the rest of the house so until we get it all you know take it out i don't want to ruin the carpet for now so we'll have this okay now i purchased this stuff also at my local store and i will tag everything below from where, where I got it. So she recommended these bowls that attach to the crate. So I'm probably going to put him in his playpen during feeding window so that I know he's eating and drinking his water and then take him out accordingly, of course. Um, I got this cute little harness. He's like super tiny. So I really don't even know if this is going to fit, but it does. Well, it doesn't look like it just adjusts. Well, it adjusts a little bit more. Um, this is an extra small, an extra, extra small actually and i thought it was a cute little fun print little plaid all right also got this oral care they say that um their teeth kind of leads to heart issues if you don't take care of their teeth and their gums so this he can just like literally lick off my hand or um i can rub it on his gums and let him like kind of ingest it or whatever so this is like a healthy oral care item as well got that Got some training information, but he's going to be going and getting trained. And then I also got this Gloss and Glide. It's like a detangler and conditioner, leave-in conditioner, that I can put on his coat. Got all these items. Um, and then for TJ Maxx. So this was actually a gift from our neighbors that I will be using this time. <laughs> for him, just like a little dog journal. So I thought that was cute, thanks to them. Um, they say that they like to cuddle. Um, because they're used to being like with their mom. So I have like a little bear that he can like cuddle with at night that I'll put in his crate. Oh, and the crate. I also got this locally and it has some crate training tips in it. Well, that's upside down. So he will not be in his crate like all day because thankfully both of my, my husband and I are both entrepreneurs. So we don't have to like go to work or whatever. Um, we work from home and I have office, but um, I'd basically just meet clients there. So at night and then if we have to leave the house we will put him in this cr this little crate so there is the crate i also got this food 
um, bucket, which I thought was cute. I, my house is pretty neutral. You can see the gray. So it kind of matches. And it also has a little scoop inside for his food to keep it fresh, like a little airtight container. So I have that. Um, I have some training treats that are really small. They don't have corn and soy and all that. If I don't eat it, I eat healthy. Um, and the things that I cook, so I don't want my puppy to be eating bad either. So these, these are some treats. And then these are like teething rings that are like corn and soy free and wheat free as well. Pretty good ingredients um, for, for teething, which I'm sure he will do. Because that's what dogs do. Um, I got these ear wipes to help clean out the inside of his ears. Yorkies are known for that. I don't know if I even mentioned. He's a Yorkie. Yeah, he was born the end of June. And he'll be here in a couple weeks. And I'm so excited. Um, I got these little, they're called belly bones. This could also be like a little treat. They have probiotics in them. Of course, if y'all know me, I'm all about my probiotics. Like our Digestion Plus with Arbonne, I love it. Why not give that to your pup too? They need it. Um, I also found this odor control wash that has, it's like baby powder scent and it has oatmeal, aloe, and argan oil. Um, so I'm super excited to use this. I've, From what I've read, Yorkies have sensitive skin. So I want to make sure his skin is moisturized and not itching to death. I also got these biodegradable um, poop bags. <laughs> so this is the little carrier that will go on the leash. And then some extra bags. I got these at TJ Maxx for a great deal. $2.99 and $6.99 for a lot of rolls. It's just one little man. So I'm sure those will last for a while. I have some pee pads that um, a friend gave to me. I do not plan to train to pee pads, but those are for just in case. A cute little BCBG uh, mat for when, you know, he's roaming the house eventually. And I might even put this in that, the crate, the crate or playpen area under where his food bowl is just so that to catch anything else and it's washable. Um, and then one thing that I found, which I did not do the first time I got a dog, I got like way too many toys. But they say that you should get like one of each type of toy. So basically the four types of toys are balls, plush rope and bones and i believe that i purchase all of those types i think so here is a plush and it has the crinkle paper sound which this honestly might be bigger than basically his size when i first get him but um i think he'll like this and then i also have this little small squeaker <laughs> <laughs> plush toy all pet friendly i have some small little squeaking balls that he can play with and then i got the small dog um, Nyla bone set and has the three different types of bones to see what he likes. Um, so, you know, that'll just help me see what he likes. Oh, and I did get rope. So this is also from TJ Maxx. I got this rope and I got this rope. So they're small you know, for him to play with. Um, I also got some blankets and I think I'm going to get one more one to be, to put in his crate or like on his bed, like if he wants to take a nap. And then one to cover the crate because they say that that makes them feel more secure. So I got these at Walmart. They're just like $3 each little um, this is kind of dog printed and a little plaid kind of goes with my house <laughs> um, so that he can have his own designated blankets. Now, this is for if he happens to have an accident in the house. I've heard this is great because it helps remove the enzymes from their urine so that they won't keep going back to the same place. Um, so I have this. And then I also got his own little microfiber towel that's got a little bone um, design on it <laughs> that is just for him. So as you can see, he's already spoiled and he has like three beds. So, okay, so here is one bed that I found that I thought was cute that I can sit out. You know, and ultimately when he can roam the house, he'll have his beds in different rooms. So if we're in the living room, he'll want to be in here. If we're in the room, he'll want to be in there. He's, I'm not going to make him stay in the crate. So there's that bed, but this one is my favorite. I got this on Amazon and it's like waterproof. See, so if he does have an accident, it'll be easy for me to clean up. All of it'll be easy for me to clean up and it's washable. So this is like a little dog house. Isn't that cute? <laughs> At least I think it is. So I have that one and that'll be out in the living room. And then this um, little crate, this is a crate pad. It's plush. It's a small one. That'll go inside the crate at the bottom. So when he's in there at night or if we leave the house and he can go in there. All right. The last couple things. I have these pop-up bowls. I teach Zumba. 
independently. So sometimes I might want to take him with me to the park or something for my classes. So I have these little bowls that I can put water in um, and they are collapsible. So it's nice because he's small. So like if this is too high for him, I can, you know, collapse it down some um, so that it fits him and his size better. See? And they have the little rings so you can just take them on the go with you. Then I also have this little treat holder that we'll use for training. So like as we take him in and out of the house um, and he does well, you can like shake it and all that. And it has a spot where the treats go in here. And this is also dishwasher safe. So I plan to wash all this stuff before I actually use it. Um, last couple things. His collar, of course, knowing me, I have to get the cute little collar. So this one is like a gingham print and it's green and it's very adjustable. So I can adjust it even more all the way up to here. So it can, it can be really small. I don't think his neck is that little, but maybe. Um, so he has his own collar. I ordered him a tag. It's not in yet, but it's a bow tie print with our information on it, of course. Um, so he'll use mainly his harness probably at first because he's so small. And I've just heard good things and researched good things about using harnesses in the beginning. His leash, I did not go with the retractable leash. I heard that they were bad. I did not know that. Um, but from a lot of my dog people, they told me that. So this one is like a six foot leash, I think, or five foot leash for small dogs. Um, and it has like the cushion on the hand. So we can put, you know, the treat container and like the little poop bag holder. I'll put these on here as well. So we can just grab this from when we're taking him in and out for training. Now for training, I am going to do the bell method. <laughs> I found these bells. And I've heard that Yorkies are really smart and they learn pretty quickly. And this also came with a clicker. So as a positive reinforcement, we're going to click, give him a treat. We'll ring the bell, click, give him a treat, take him out. When he uses the restroom outside, we're going to click and, you know, positively reinforce, give him treats. But these bells are really cool. Sorry, they're kind of loud. They, they're adjustable. As you can see, the three spots. Um, it goes like this. So depending on how long you want them to hang on your door, you know, they hang on your door like this and they're loud. Um, uh, but we'll, we're going to use these bells. And, um, we were talking to the breeder last weekend, actually, when we picked him out and she said that it works. She has like previous, I guess, clients, if you will, that have bought dogs from her in the past that did the same thing and their dogs actually do it they ring the bell when they need to go out and they let them know and all that so i'm really excited to teach him that and then last but not least um i purchased this car booster seat which might be a little see that's what it looks like basically it attaches to the seat um and this is american kennel club so of course it should be very safe i've read a bunch of different reviews on it, it should be good so i don't want him rolling around the back seat because he's too little and i want to make sure he's safe um and i think the only other thing that i would like to purchase is like a some type of bag to carry him in so if you have any recommendations for that i'd love to hear it um his name is chief <laughs> a little chief the little chief of louisville is his hashtag so i look forward to creating another video when i have him and when we pick him up um so stay tuned for that but thank you so much for watching please subscribe hit that bell so that you know when i post um, every single time. And thank you again so much for watching. And again, find me on Instagram at the fit event lady for more and um, to see my stories with my cute little pup um, and life with me and my husband and everything else. So yes, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.